Good morning guys, welcome to our Saturday day of the vlog. Yeah. You're excited this morning? Yeah. You see. just popped around the corner and he has seen what is up here. So behind us we can see the warship, which I don't quite know what it is, but I will find out. Warship. Tower of London, I which is over there. And then Tower Bridge. Bridge. How cool is that? We're like I'm proper, not, proper tourists this morning, aren't I we? I know. I'm not a London Bridge, which is just an ordinary bridge. And we're sat on, stood on London Bridge right now, looking down the Thames that way. Very dreary morning this morning, but we're excited, really excited. Good night in the Premier Inn last night. Woke up a couple of times, but it was fine. Um, we had Premier Inn breakfast, which was lovely. Very, very nice. Yep. Um, I'll probably show you a bit of that later on, um, on part of the vlog. And, but yeah, we're heading to the Tower of London this morning, which is just there. There's Tower Bridge. And if I hadn't mentioned before, oh, that's a bit zoomed in. Yes. And if I hadn't mentioned before, guess what, Harry? Yeah. I ran over that bridge. As many times. How many times are you going to hear that on this trip? Uh, five. If I hadn't mentioned, I did the London Marathon in 2019 and ran over that bridge. Or 2018. Yeah. 18, maybe. 18. But exciting morning. Harry's looking forward to all the history at the Tower of London. Yeah. Um, we'll obviously take you with us. What I didn't stop and show you is the Shard, which is there. I don't know how I missed that. And there is the warship, which I'm apologies because David said I was being disrespectful. It is HMS Belfast. We're just having a walk down the side of the river. A little bit rainy and drizzly this morning, but never mind. It's fine. So we pre-booked our tickets for our August trip and all we had to do was drop them an email and they changed the date we picked and then we, they changed the date for us. So we just collected our tickets from the ticket booth because our original printed tickets, obviously the barcode is out of date. It's been very, really, very, very easy and straightforward. Um, you can't obviously automatically do it online. Like I said, just drop them an email and they will automatically they will change the date for you for the date you pick. So that was quite easy and straightforward. So now it's 10 o'clock and we are heading in. He's advised us to go to see the Crown Jewels first, which is what we're going to do. So when the tower was first built, the um, king at the time made it a zoo. And I think that obviously that's what that's representing. But we are just heading in. I've lost the kids and David already. We are just heading to the Crown Jewels first because that's where the ticket man told us to go to save the crowds later on in the afternoon. Wow, this is impressive. Harry, torture at the tower. Can you hear the birds? Look at the ravens. So the Crown Jewels are just located in this building here. Um, obviously we can't do any filming or take any pictures I believe but this is where we're heading now to the crown jewels those birds are very scary <coughs> definitely guarding the crown jewels aren't they so seeing the crown jewels was pretty so impressive the size of that door was huge wasn't it uh, yeah it was very big sorry Harry's just reading his um, tower power his guidebook to the Tower of London. Oh, there's a ghost well, oh yeah. at the window. There's a creepy ghost at the window. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, spooky. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like Queen Elizabeth. So, yeah, the crown jewels were very impressive. Um, lots of bling. Those doors were just immense. Massive, massive, massive. massive. Like Fascinating, really. I'd love to know how they actually got the <laughs> crown jewels out. Um, obviously no video photography in there, I even had to put my camera away, I wasn't allowed to hold it, which is fair enough. But we are about to go into the bloody tower? White. White tower. White tower. I'll get it eventually. It's a good job I got him with me. <laughs> it's a 
prompt me and correct me. So yeah, we're going into the White Tower now, which I should know, and I do know, because it's this massive one, the square one in the middle. Have you seen? Oh yeah. You can see his armour difference, can't you? In what way? Yeah. Look, look at that one. Yeah. Look at that one. Does he get bigger? Yeah. Just heading into the toilet. Do you want some privacy, Harry? Does it just go all the way down? Yes, it just jumps. Ooh. When you when you like do your business, it just drops Plop. down. Uh, it would be very good if you were standing below. Oh, smelly, Harry. It feels oddly spiritual in here. It's very strange to think that kings and queens have said prayers here throughout the years. Who is it? You guys think he's hung? It's the crazy king, isn't it? I was not expecting that when I came up the stairs. So, can you get Henry the Eighth ready for action? Oh no! Do you have to do it in order? Oh, he's not happy. Oh, he's telling you which order to put it on in. Oh, that's a bit rude. Oh dear, we didn't. That's been the right order. So we have just come into a section of the armory that is all interactive for the kids. So things like firing cannons, lifting up swords, practicing your sword fighting, Obviously dressed like a knight. And the thing you've just seen Harry on, which is getting um, Henry VIII ready for action. But there's lots and lots of things like bow and arrow over there. This is all teaching the kids all about the armory. It's very cool. That's a big lot of guns there. Can't imagine having to carry one of them. Imagine having to carry one of them, Henry. And we've just come out into the gift shop. Always a gift shop. Oh, I don't know. Whoa, that's deep. It's the White Tower's well, Harry. 12 meters deep. It's provided fresh water for the people that lived here. That's cool, isn't it? So, this is a very cool shop because it has got, actually got lots of history books and stuff in it. Horrible histories, terrifying Tudors. And actually, lots of history books, which is kind of what I expected Warwick Castle to have. What didn't? No. You can buy a suit of armour. You want one of them? I don't know if we come out the same place as we come no. in, so I don't no. know where we're going to be. Where are we going to put that? I suppose you don't want this. I did actually want that. What 125 pounds. <coughs> How do you 
Let's have a look. <laughs> So this is just our memorial spot to commemorate all those people or remember all those people that were beheaded here at the Tower of London. So including like Queen Anne Boleyn, um, Margaret Pole, the Countess of Salisbury. It's quite poignant really. So I believe all these houses here and all those down there are actually um, where people live and offices and so they were obviously the yeomans of and beef eaters of the Tower of London and these are some of their quarters. Actual families live here which I find very strange if you watch the programme. It's really fascinating. So we're just heading into the uh, Beachamp Tower so this discussion where the imprisonment of the tower Explore the fascinating stories of the prisoners and the graffiti they left behind. Ooh, spooky. Oh, lots and lots of steps again. This is really quite spooky and fascinating. So all this here is graffiti of people from the tower and prisoners and some of it's in different languages, they've got stuff in French and Spanish very very creepy yeah wow imagine how long it took them to do that and how they did it I will try and pick it up a bit on the camera but out there sorry it's really burly but down there that street is where all the beef eaters and yeomans live. Bloody tower. Torture at the tower. Interesting. Let's go and find out. You're not careful. You're outside your bedroom. Put you on the rack. Now this talks about the royal beasts. The medieval kings gave and received wild animals as gifts. So somebody gave the king a polar bear. Uh, all these wire statues all the way around the um, Tower of London. Apparently the polar bear was allowed to swim along the River Thames uh, with a strong rope and he used to f feed from the fish. So I find this place absolutely fascinating. I love uh, British history. It's, it's just really interesting and I love the fact that Harry really, really enjoys it as well. Um, it's very, very busy. There are lots of trend things, social distancing markers and stuff and people aren't wearing masks. Well, that's fine, we're wearing our masks. Lots of points to hand sanitise, so they are doing really well. And lots and lots of one-way systems, which I think makes things flow a lot better than it probably did many many years ago. But it is super, super busy. Not sure what we're doing now. So whatever it is, we'll obviously take you with me. Like you're in the army now. Yes. How heavy is it? Uh, it would be heavy if you're fighting someone, if you're running yeah. around a bit. Let me try one on. Oh my goodness. Oh, but. It's very heavy under here. Have a look. Weird. I look like a Saxon. They can be shrink. So this is one of the streets I tried to show you before. This is where people live. 
Yeah, she's got pumpkins outside the houses. So we have just finished in the cafe our little snack slash lunch. Yeah, it was okay. The chips were really cold um, and hard, which is not great. They were three pound fifty each. Um, it was okay. It was just very, very overpriced for what it was. It filled a hole when in London. I suppose that's what you expect. So I think that's us finished here at the Tower of London today. Um, we are heading off into London to go to other places, but I think that's where we'll leave this video for today. So don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Leave in the comments down below. Have you been to the Tower of London? What was your favourite bit? Um, and thanks for watching.